guys welcome back so today I decided I wanted to go ahead <clears throat> clear my throat <laughs> so today I decided I wanted to go ahead and just do a full face or majority face of Fenty beauty products makeup whatever the case may be I don't have everything Fenty but I have a good amount of Fenty <laughs> to use on my face. I really wanted to try out their new concealer and one of their powders and just kind of see if it's really worth the hype, honestly, because my favorite concealer only costs $7. So for me to decide to spend, what is it, $26 or $24, $26 I think, for a concealer would be a huge jump. That's just something that I don't do. Not your girl. <laughs> so I wanted to try it out and just see if there is a huge difference. Then, you know, I might have to cross over to the dark side. And so I got just one of the powders and one concealer. Okay, your girl is not on any PR list. So I did spend my quaint on these products. And the powder that I got to use is the Honey. I just chose the color Honey because I only wanted a highlighting or brightening powder for under my eyes. I didn't want an all over face powder so I didn't get a darker powder. And I also got the concealer and this one is in the color 390. I felt like since I do like to brighten under my eyes a bit, I wanted to go a little bit brighter than what would have been suggested for me because I think the concealers the number you're supposed to choose is supposed to be the same as your foundation because it's supposed to be just a tad lighter. And so the foundation that I have from Fenty is actually, I think, a bit rich for me. It works out. I can work with it. It's the 440, but it is a bit rich, a little bit orangey. But once I complete my whole face, it kind of all comes together. So it's a decent jump from 440 to 390 for the concealer that I chose. So I really want to see how that is going to look today. Now, I don't really care for the Fenty primer. I've used it a few times and it really just kind of feels like a moisturizer to me more so than a primer. I like my primers to kind of mattify my face. So I'm not really here for it. <laughs> So instead of using that today, I am going to go in with my Tatcha primer because I do want to just have my face a little bit mattified today. Now I've already moisturized with my Neutrogena Hydro, Bu Hydro Boost Moisturizer. So that is already done, but I'm going to go ahead in with some of this Tatcha and just prime my face. Now I've been testing out the e.l.f. Putty Primer. The one that's supposed to be a dupe for this Tatcha. And although I really do like the e.l.f. primer, it is a nice primer. And although it is a really good primer, I don't know that I would say that it's a dupe for the Tatcha. To me, the e.l.f. has, I don't know how to describe it. It feels more greasy. Like the Tatcha, it feels nice going on. It's really nice and smooth fills in your pores nicely. It just feels good. The e.l.f. feels good to me, but it feels a little bit greasy. <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't call it an exact dupe, but if I wasn't comparing it to Tatcha, I would say that it is a very nice primer. Okay, so now that I have my face nicely primed, I'm gonna go ahead, shake up my Fenty 440 foundation, and I'm going to be using a damp Sonia Kashuk sponge to apply my foundation today. Um, I think with this Fenty that it's a little bit more watery than some other, oh no, it's, it's kind of thick. It's not too, too watery, it's kind of thick, but it does run a little bit. And I know in the past I've liked to use my a brush to apply it but we're gonna go ahead with a damp sponge today and normally I like to do my eyes first but today I'm kind of excited to try out this concealer so I'm gonna go ahead and do my face first Now I am just kind of going for a medium coverage today. I'm not going for that full beat beat <laughs> 
coverage today. I don't know, you know, you guys ever have those days where you just kind of want a light covering just to kind of blur your imperfections more so than put on a mask. <laughs> Because don't get me wrong, I have my mask days, which are most days, where I'm just like, cover it all, cover it all. But today, I'm just going to do a light medium, well, not light, because this is definitely not a light coverage foundation, but a medium coverage. And I don't know if you can see, it kind of has a little bit of an orangey tinge to it, but once it seeps in, everything will come together. Okay, so now for this concealer, like I said, I got the color 390. And what I want to do with just kind of trying out this concealer today is I want to put it on like I normally do my concealer, you know, under my eyes and on my face and stuff. But I actually want to kind of test it up against my Revolution concealer. So I just want to see how it applies compared to my Revolution Conceal and Define as well as just how it looks after I blend it out and how it lasts throughout the day. So on this side, I'm going to do Fenty and on this side, I'm going to do my Revolution Concealer. So this is what the concealer looks like. It looks just like the foundation bottle. Very, very cute, fancy schmancy glass bottle. And let me just go ahead and do a little swatch for you guys so you can see what 390 looks like on my skin tone. So that's what the 390 looks like. So that's what the 390 looks like on my skin tone. It looks like a really nice, warm, rich, kind of caramel or toffee type color. It's not super duper bright or light, so we'll see how this works out for me. So I'm going to apply this on this side of my face. And I typically use a lot of concealer, so... <laughs> I'm gonna put it on just like I normally do. It's nice and creamy and thick. Oh my God, you guys see that? It's not watery at all. It's a very thick consistency. And I'm just going to place it where I normally place my concealer. I have a lot of discoloration on the lower half of my face. So you're going to do a half and half. And I want to compare the color as well, not just how the concealer, you know, blends out or lasts. I want to compare this color to what I like in my Revolution as well. So now for my Revolution concealer, I use the color F13. So I'm going to go in the other half of my face with this. And this concealer, I believe, is what, seven bucks? So we're talking seven dollars compared to 26. So the Revolution, right off the bat, it looks, it has more of a tan feel to it, not so golden and yellow as the Fenty. Yeah, it has more of a light tan look to it. <laughs> this is so funny, doing half and half. Hmm. I better hurry up before this stuff dries in place, right? Okay, so that's good enough for half and half. So I'm going in with a damp sponge and I'm just going to blend the Fenty side out first. So coverage wise, I would say it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It has kind of like, mm, like a dewy type finish. It's not really, I mean, as you can see, the um, concealer is covering more than that <laughs> medium foundation coverage that I put on, which is not a big deal right now. But yeah, the coverage is pretty good, I would say. I'm not sure how I feel about the 
kind of yellowy tone to it but the coverage is pretty good I like it okay so I'm going to flip my sponge over on the other side and blend out the revolution So I would definitely say just looking after blending it in, the Fenty side definitely has more coverage. Definitely has more coverage. It's nicer, thicker as far as dewiness goes. To me, they kind of have the same amount of dewiness, to be honest with you. It just looks like it's showing more on this side because the Fenty side has more coverage than the Revolution hands down. The Revolution side, I think, is kind of giving me more of just a light, natural kind of concealing. But this, if I would have went full beat with my foundation, this concealer coverage is definitely full beat <laughs> coverage. Just hands down, definitely. So more coverage for Fenty. But the Revolution, I like the coverage for the Revolution. It's definitely a great concealer for seven bucks. It's just a little bit lighter. I know I can go in a little bit heavier if I wanted to, but I really don't want to. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try out the Fenty powder that I got in the color Honey compared to my favorite collab powder. And the one that I use for this is, ooh, y'all know I can't see, Almond Caramel. So I wanna compare how these powders are up against each other. Now, of course, the Fenty powder comes in this beautiful, <laughs> you see my fingerprints on there, but it comes in this beautiful Fenty packaging, absolutely gorgeous, and you can see the powder through the bottom. So, very, very pretty. Of course, you know, you get nothing less from Fenty. And my collab powder <laughs> looks like this. <laughs> And I, my collab powder I purchased from Sally Beauty Supply for $14.99. And I believe this comes in at a whopping, the Fenty powder is $32, this is $14.99, so half price. So I'm going to do the Fenty side first. And you guys, I don't bake. You know, if you're familiar with how I put my makeup on, you guys know I don't bake. So I just kinda tap the powder in and just lightly dust away. Uh, you know what? I do want to contour, so I'm going to contour. I'm going to use my Fenty Match Stick to contour. Okay, so now back to the powder, <laughs> now that I've done a little bit of contouring. And for the Fenty, it comes, it has this little plastic covering over here and it does have holes you know to be able to sift the powder and also in the box they give you this little cap that you can cover the sifter with I guess when you close up your container so that's pretty cool comes in this little side pocket very cute so I'm going to come in just a little bit closer so you can see what my under eye is looking like with the Fenty concealer it looks normally like my under eyes normally look if I wanted to go in a little bit more and cover up my dark circles a little bit more I could and as you can see on this side the revolution has a you know lighter coverage not as full coverage and but they both look to be a bit dewy so I'm going to go in on the Fenty side with some of this honey powder and see how that looks So it definitely has kind of like a yellow tone to it. I can see it already. It's yellow. <laughs> but it's not like the bright Sasha Buttercup yellow. It feels very nice. It's a very nice, soft, fine powder. It smells really good. It has a little fragrance to it, so if you don't like any fragrance, you probably won't like it. 
but it does. It's very nice and soft and fine. It does have a little bit more of a yellow tint to it than I would like, but it's all good. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side with my collab powder. And I am going in with a clean brush. So just my initial thoughts on the powders, I do prefer my collab powder just because I like the color of it. It's not as yellow. The tone of it, the tone of it is a little bit more kind of almond caramel type tone. And to me, it just looks a little bit more natural for my personal skin tone and my personal preference. I do prefer the way that this side of my face looks to this side because the yellowness of the concealer is really showing in contrast to the foundation shade that I have. So just my preference, I like this better, but both of the powders are actually really nice. Um, you can see I could put a little bit more powder in the inner corners of my eyes. Let me see. So that's the collab side. And you guys, I'm an older woman, so <laughs> I'm not all that concerned about, oh my gosh, I have a little bit of creasing or I have a little bit of this and that and what have you. You know, I'm a realist. My eyes have creases and so, you know, they're going to crease. So I'm going to put a little bit more of the Fenty powder in this corner just so you can see. So that's what it looks like when I added a little bit more powder under my eye. It's not bad. It's just the shade is not my favorite, but it's not bad at all. Honestly, the coverage is really good. So I am going to leave this on my face all day and come back and do a check in for you guys. But I want to go ahead and move on to my eyes because I am doing a full Fenty face. So. So this is the Fenty face I'm going to be rocking today. This is the Fenty Concealer Half. This is the Revolution Concealer Half. And I will come back probably later on this evening. I'm going to go about my business today. Maybe film another video or two. And come back and I will just show you guys how it held up. Let me give you another look just so you can see what's going on. Fenty. Revolution. Fenty. Revolution. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go on about my day and I will be back. Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so it has been about seven hours since I filmed me putting on this Fenty face and trying out this concealer. And as you can see, I have a nice little amount of all day dewiness going on. <laughs> so that's normal for me in my T-zone to be shiny and to be dewy and moist, okay, on my face. So let me just come in so I can show you, okay, this is the Fenty side. This is the Revolution side. So that is what they look like close up. As close as y'all gonna get, okay? As you can see, my foundation eh, it's started to break down a little bit. You guys know I didn't do a full, complete, like, beat beat for my face today so this is what I would consider medium coverage for my foundation so you can see some areas of discoloration but I would say and I hate to say this but I like the Fenty concealer <laughs> I do I like it it held up very nicely to me on my face and you can see that I do get oily um I feel like the Fenty held up pretty nicely. The coverage is pretty decent. I mean, for the Revolution side, it held up like it normally does. So this is what I'm used to. And, you know, like I said, I could have went in a little heavier if I wanted to, but I didn't. Like, especially here around my mouth, I could have went in a little heavier. But 
actually this you can see how the revolution side has kind of like come off a bit from me eating. I had some pizza today. <laughs> so, you know, the revolution side looks like it has worn down a little bit more so than the Fenty. The Fenty still kind of looks to me like it did when I started out. Not bad at all. I like it. So <clears throat> the reason why I say that, um, I hate that I like the Fenty side is because it's $26, okay? The powder, I like the powder too. I think it's kind of grown on me. Initially, I was kind of like, mm, it's kind of yellow, it's kind of yeah, yeah. Probably because I didn't want to like it, but I actually like it. I do. I like it for about seven, eight hours of wear. I can deal with this. Now, what I do, I don't repowder my face. When I get oily like this, I don't go in with more powder. I just, I blot, I'm a blotter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do my usual blotting on my face in my oily areas so that you can see what it looks like after I do my usual blot, so. This is what we're looking like after my blot. It's like, I, I don't know, honestly, I guess, well, it's hard for me to say because I'm really, the Fenty side has really grown on me, probably because it's really brightened up my face and everything. I like it. The coverage is just bomb. I'm sorry, the coverage is bomb. For the Revolution side, like I said, it has more of a kind of natural, um me still poking through kind of look to it but if i wanted a full beat full foundation and all that the fenty is it so i mean it'll last me for a while because i'm only going to use this when my husband takes me out so what twice a year <laughs> don't tell him i said that <laughs> but anyway i'll just use this you know on those special occasions when i really want to look snatched okay so I like it, you guys. I was hoping I wouldn't like it and it wouldn't be that big of a difference. But although the Revolution is nice and I can deal with it, it's not bad. Actually, under my eyes, I could deal with both ways that my eyes look. Not bad at all. But the Fenty wins, hands down. Now, I didn't say what I was wearing on the rest of my face earlier. You know, I was ready to get my day started. But for my lips, I do have on my Fenty lipstick in the shade Madame, which is a really gorgeous, bright red shade. So, as you can see, very, very bright red. And for my eyes, I did go in with the Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette and I used the brown and the red shade in here just to smoke out my eyes. And I did go in with my Fenty, what is this, the Kilowatt Foil palette, this gorgeous palette here. I went in with that and I used these two shades here on my lid. So that's what I have on my lid and I do have this on my inner corner just in case you're curious. So that's it for this testing of the Fenty concealer up against my usual $7 Revolution <laughs> concealer. I'm not gonna stop using my Revolution, okay, because I have a good stockpile of it <laughs> here. So I'm not going to stop using my Revolution concealer, but the Fenty, okay, I ain't mad at you, Fenty. Mm hmm I ain't mad at you Fenty. I will I will use you on a special occasion okay so that's it you guys thanks so much for checking out my video and I will see you on the next one Toodles.